there was an action taken today by the House of Representatives that has me extremely concerned as the senior senator from Louisiana and a leader in our delegation, and an issue that I've worked on literally since the first day that I came to the Senate now almost 17 years ago. The House of Representatives, the leadership, decided to uh, drop probably the most important project in the bill for Louisiana, and that project is Morganza to the Gulf. Now, the saddest thing about all this, Mr. President, <laughs> the saddest thing about all of this, that the House removed this project, is <laughs> this project has already been authorized three times in the last 15 years by the United States Senate and twice by the House of Representatives. And the people that would be benefited by this project, which are about 200,000 people that live in South Louisiana, Lafouche Parish and Terrebonne Parish, the same area that was battered by Katrina, Rita, Gustav, Ike, and the oil spill, the same people that have suffered through flood after flood after flood, the same people who have taxed themselves gotten $200 million of their own money to build phase one, have now been told no by the House of Representatives for what reasons I cannot understand. They have gone through all the processes required. They have waited in line, a line that should never really have been there because they were given a yes, but as you know, under the Corps of Engineers rules, they can say yes to your project like 10 years, you know, like initially, and then it takes so long to get to your project because we have a very inefficient system. You've probably had this happen in your state. If the estimates then come in at 20% over the original estimates, the law just kicks you out and you have to start all over again. So they started all over again. That's the tragedy of this action. I mean, I, we were furious that they had to start all over again, but you know, that was the law, so they did and they got a positive chief's report in June. And now the House of Representatives just arbitrarily decides even with a positive chief's report, they're taking Morganza to the Gulf out of the bill. I am calling on the Louisiana delegation to stand up, particularly members that are in the um, public policy, the, uh, the study committee. I think we have a leader of that committee uh, Congressman Steve Scalise, who is my uh, partner in the Restore Act and has been a very able leader uh, in our delegation to absolutely to put their foot down on this word of bill moving any further in the House of Representatives until we can get justice for this project. Now, our people are doing everything we can to elevate our homes, to fight for fair flood insurance, to tax ourselves to build levees, We've traveled all over the world to find the best engineers in, you know, in the Netherlands because we don't seem to have enough engineers here in Washington that understand that you can live safely below sea level and sometimes you have to because that's where the ports are. We don't have the luxury of living on tops of mountains. We're running the Mississippi River. We're not running a ski lodge in Vail. And so our people have to live there. They're not living in mansions. They're not living in condos. They are living in fishing villages and fishing camps and in very middle-class neighborhoods, trying to make a living for themselves, their families, their communities, and keep this country operating. We're running the biggest oil and gas um, operations out of Houma, Louisiana, the town that the House of Representatives has just literally made defenseless. They have no levees. New Orleans now, after Katrina and Jefferson Parish and St. Bernard Parish, have $14 billion of taxpayer money invested. That's a lot of money. And I know some people in the country get very aggravated about that. Well, why did they get $14 billion? Well, the country should have given us a billion 10 years ago, and we could have saved them 14, but the Congress decided not to do that. We asked, we begged, we pleaded, no, 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 no. And so one day the levees broke, and then the bill came due, and it was a big bill, $14 billion. Well, wait till the next bill comes through. Now, in that whole time frame, that whole time frame where our people are begging 
drowning, houses going underwater, begging for help. The government keeps telling us, no, 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 no. We send $161 billion to this treasury from off of our shore for offshore oil and gas. $161 billion. And we come up here and try to get a billion for this levy, two billion for that. We're told we can't afford it. The people in our state cannot survive without levees. And the country cannot survive without our people living where we do to fish, to run the maritime, to run the oil and gas industry. And Homa, Louisiana does not deserve this. Terrebonne Parish doesn't deserve it. Lafourche Parish doesn't deserve it. And our delegation's not going to stand for it. So my message to the Speaker of the House and to my delegation in the House and to the House is that bill will never see the light of day unless Morganza is put back. Now, I don't know who's going to do it or how they're going to do it, and please don't tell me that there's not enough money. We send alone Louisiana, forget Texas, forget Alabama, forget Mississippi, Louisiana alone every year sends about $5 billion to the federal treasury just from oil and gas severance taxes not counting sales tax, income tax, property taxes, other taxes, property taxes wouldn't come here, but income taxes would come here, corporate income taxes would come here. That's not even counting that. And I am tired of begging for nickels and dimes. So the House of Representatives better put Morganza to the Gulf back in that project. We do not have enough infrastructure, water infrastructure. Our ports are not where they need to be. Our rivers are not dredged to the depths they need to be. We don't have enough to maintain our maritime industry in this country. And this is undermining our economic strength and our international competitiveness, besides being terribly unfair to people that happen to live along the coast, which is 60% of our population. So I'm just sending a little warning signal to the House of Representatives. There is no way, no way, that this word of bill is going to go anywhere without the Morganza to the Gulf in it. It's just not happening. This is one of these sort of, you know, do or die kind of issues for the Louisiana delegation. We have waited for 20 years for this project. It is justified from every angle, shape, form. It's been studied to death. The, the local people have put up $200 million of their own money, and I am not going home to tell them that they're not going to get the project.